Hello my dear students good afternoon all of you all today students we are going to learn exercise number 4a question number 1 and 2 we have done but further we are going to learn question number 3 and question number 4 i hope you all are remember what we are going to learn today on on the student so before starting our session students let's check here today's chord and then after we move on for the session so students first of all let's check here today's chord so today's chord is uh, today is your opportunity to uh, build the tomorrow you want what all students today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want understood then after we move on today's agenda means today what we are going to learn this matter is here okay this things is here so students today's agenda chapter number 4 division exercise number 4 a question number 3 okay students i hope you in previous lecture in previous time we are starting the chapter number 4 division okay and i hope you may know and we know the very well what is the meaning of division equal we share into equal part okay what we share into the equal part understood got my point all all students okay question number 1 four digit quotient and question number 2 three digit quotient both question we have done and then now we are move on question number 3 quotient with zero okay quotient with zero it means what all students in answer in quotient zero will become there means zero is there okay in between quotient okay then after the question number 4 mix practice means a mix, what is a mix practice and which sum which type of sum will become in the mix practice so students there are uh, four digit quotients come there then a uh, three digit quotients and a zero uh, a quotient with zero understood three type of question will become in the mix practice understood i repeat here so students i repeat again question number 3 is a quotient with a zero question number 4 mix practice so students exercise number 4 a today we are starting exercise number 4 a in a question number 3 quotient with a zero and question number 4 mix practice okay students i hope you all are know uh, which type of the sum will become in mix practice okay so uh, otherwise i'll repeat here first of all i was told you but again i repeat here okay in mix practice all students in a mix practice a uh, solve a uh, four digit quotient in third in means means in with three digit quotient and a quotient with zero will become the mix practice understood got my point all students now we move on exercise number 4 a question number 3 okay so exercise number 4 a question number 3 solve a quotient with a zero so students let's start here quotient with zero question number 1 and then after we check the question number 2 okay students again i repeat here what we have done in previous sessions okay but i hope you all are remember what this called this all digit okay inside the box it's called a divided digit okay here are four divided digit 8096 outside the box it's called a divisor and upside the box it's called a quotient and then last is here left digit it's called a what remainder understood i hope you all are remember those words or those digit words it okay so students please take your book and write with me some important notices and some important sums okay so students let's start here the question number 1 question number 1 is what 8096 divided by 4 8906 8906 divided by 4 so here only 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 we are using a tables okay i hope you all are written your homework as a table okay so students here we use the table only so table number 4 here which table we are using table number 4 means to, uh, means all students which digit 
means divisor here this divisor that table we are using here okay so divisor is a four so here all uh, you are uh, here we are using the table number four understood so okay one by one digit we check in d one by one we check the digit and divide with all divided understood so four okay in table number four eight this was which digit all students eight in table number four it will be come or not decide or think first of all you think okay i hope you all are remember the step those step we have done okay so in table number four eight will become or not yes it will become but where four ones are four four two the eight so we write the two here four two the eight see four two the eight understood so eight minus eight zero understood and then after what to do we bring down the zero we bring down the next digit next digit we bring down here zero understood we bring down a zero here again zero 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 will become in the fourth table no so again we take the further digit divided further digit nine but we here we are how many digit bringing down zero and nine two digit with this both digit we are bring down together so that's why we put the zero that's why we put the zero so students here this both digit zero and nine see here zero and nine we take the both digit that's why we put the zero okay that type of meaning we speak a quotient with a zero understood this uh, these rules remember or keep it in your mind otherwise now you write in your fed book whenever you take the both digits with together all students that time you put the zero in quotient okay it's a rule of division so what to do zero we bring it down and nine also bring down so that uh, and then after we put the zero there okay so now nine okay now in okay table number four nine will become yes or no no nine is not coming in table number four so what to do D think uh less than two nine means small on uh, uh, smallest two nine which is it it uh, is come eight so it will become in a table number four years it will become in the table number four so what to what to do that time that time we write as like that four to the eight again four ones are four four to the eight eight okay so nine minus eight how many old students nine minus eight is equal to one okay one we write the one and then after what to do then after we take the six bring down okay we take the six as like that okay we take the six okay so now 16 is made a 16 in table number four 60 will become years but where we don't know so that why we speak the table number four four ones are four four two za eight four three za twelve four four za 16 so four four za 16 one and six okay then after we do the subtraction 16 minus 16 is equal to zero understood got my point all students i hope you all are remember and how can we solve this quotient with zero understood now we move on question number b let's check the question number b question number b question number b is what 1050 5, not a 15 50 okay 5 0 15 1050 divided by 5 1050 divided by 5 understood got my point all students so now one by one here how many digit we are taking one or two two digit because of here one so here we are taking the two digit okay so in table number five ten will become or not yes ten will become in the table number five but where so now speak five ones are five five twos are ten so five twos are ten think okay first of all you think decide and multiplication and then you have a right five to the ten then now we you do the 
subtraction 10 minus 10 10 minus 10 is equal to how many old students 0 0 10 minus 10 is equal to 0 0 understood so now what to do then after we bring down the next digit next divided digit 5 5 we bring down here okay so in table number 5 5 will become yes easily we know okay where but 5 ones are 5 so in table number 5 5 ones are 5 5 ones are 5 okay so 5 minus 5 how many old students 0 and then after the next divided digit we will bring down the here okay we bring down next divided digit 0 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 and this 0 we bring down as okay so this 0 going uh, upside in quotient why there is a rule okay we bring down the 0 no d is it further after or before the that time this 0 will be gone a uh, upside understood so answer is what 210 answer is what 210 understood got my point all st all students now we move on question question number c and question number d question number c is what all students 2480 what all students 2480 8080 divided by 8 2480 divided by 8 so students let's check here so now here we are using the table number 8 okay here we are not taking only one digit here we are taking the two digit 2 or 4 24 okay so students in table number 8 24 will be come or not think in table number 8 24 will be come or not decide think yes 24 will be come in table number 8 but where so now you speak 8 ones are 8, 8 twos are 16, 8 threes are 24. So 8 threes are 24. Okay, so 24 minus 24 is equal to 0, 0. 24 minus 24 is equal to 0. Okay, then after we bring down the next divided digit. So 8 we bring down. Okay, what, what to do? We bring down the 8 here. Okay. So 8 we bring down here. Okay. So in table number 8, 8 will become yes easily. 8 ones are 8. So we write here as like that. 8 ones are 8. So 8 minus 8. How many also done? 0. Okay. 8 minus 8. How? 8 minus 8 is, is equal to 0. Then, then after next divided digit we bring down here. See this. Next divided digit we bring down here. 0. Okay, so 0 where, where is going? 0 is going upside in the quotient. Okay, so answer is will be that 310. Answer is what? 310. Understood? Got my point all, all students. And question number D. Now we move on the question number D. So let's check here the question number D. Okay, so question number D is 6. So question number D is... 2454 2454 divided by 6 understood i uh, again i repeat all students 2454 divided by 6 got my point all all students so 20 uh, okay 24 here we are taking the two digit this first both digit okay so 24 will become in the table number 6 think all students yes or no yes 24 will become in the table number 6 so now you speak the tab tab table number 6 so 6 ones are 6 6 twos are 12 6 threes are 18 and 6 fours are 24 so 6 fours are how many old students 6 fours are 24 2 and 4 6 fours are how many old students 24 so 24 minus 24 is equal to 0 okay and then what is what to do then what is the next step next step is the div next divided digit we bring down the next divided digit so here next divided digit is 5 we bring down a 5 here understood we bring down a 5 here good my point all, 
all students so in table number 5 six uh, sorry in table number 6 five will become so what to do divisor is bigger than to our this digit so what to do we take that time both digit okay we bring down the both digit 5 and 4 so we take bring down 5 and 4 understood divided digit this divided both digit we bring down or uh, together 5 and 4 So fifty-four will become in table number six. Yes, fifty-four will come in the table number six. But where six nines are fifty-four? Six nines are okay, students. One more point. We forgot to put the zero here. Why? But we are here taking the both digit bringer down here. So that time we put the compulsory zero. Understood that time we put the compulsory zero, okay? Five and four. That time we put the compulsory zero. Five and four, okay? So five and four we bring down. That time we we, we take the both digit. So we put the zero, okay? And then after six, nine is a fifty-four. So fifty-four minus fifty-four is equal to zero. Understood? Got my point, all students. so now further we move on the question number e and question number f so let's check here the so question number e is 500 5 sorry 5642 divided by 7 what all students 5642 divided by 7 so here we are use the table number 7 okay students So now here, first of all, how many digit we take here? We take the two digit five and six. So fifty six, fifty six will come in the table number seven. Yes or no? Think all students. Fifty six, fifty six will become or not in the table number seven? Yes, fifty six will become in the table number seven. But where? So seven eight za fifty six. How many all students? Seven eight za fifty. Six so students seven eights are fifty six understood. So again I repeat seven eights are fifty six. So fifty six minus fifty six is equal to zero. Okay. Then after what to do four? We bring down the four. So four will become in the table number seven. No. So what to do again? We take the next divided digit. So four and two forty two we bring down together here. Okay, four and two. So we bring down together that both digit. So what to do? So we put the zero. But where in quotient? Understood? So we put the quotient in where? Where we put the zero in the quotient? Understood? So we put the zero here. Then after for the table number seven, forty-two will become yes. But where? Seven six za forty two seven six za forty two okay so forty two minus forty two is equal to zero understood so answer is what all students eight hundred and six answer is what eight hundred and six got my point understood all students now we move on question number F question number F okay question number F is what one thousand eight hundred and eighty divided by two Okay, one thousand eight hundred and eighty divided by two. So now here we do. Okay, here how many digit we are taking first? First here students we are taking the two digit. Okay, here we are taking the how many digit? Two digit. One eight eighteen. Here we are taking the eighteen. So students in table number two, eighteen will become yes. Think first of all and then you. Right. Okay. So in table number two, eighteen will become yes. But where eighty? Okay. So two nines are eighty. How many all students? Two nines are eighteen. So students, two nines are eighteen. Okay. So eighteen minus eighteen is equal to zero. Then after what to do? Then after we bring down the next digit. So we bring down the next digit eight. Okay. Eight we bring down. In table number two, now you think or decide. Table number two, it will become or not? Yes, it will become in the table number 
2 so but where 2 1s are 2 2 2s uh, 2 2 are 4 2 3s are 6 2 4 are 8 so 2 4 are 8 okay so 8 minus 8 is equal to 0 8 minus 8 is equal to 0 then after we bring down the next digit 0 okay so what to do this 0 is gone upside okay this 0 is going up upside understood got my points now last two sum of this question okay question number G and question number H so students question number G 3000 divided by 5 I hope you all are re remember those all point we have done in this all question okay course put the put the zero in the quotient what is the rules of uh, bring bringing down uh, both uh, divided digit that time what to do okay we together we bring in uh, down a uh, two divided digit both divided digit so what to do that time i hope you all are remember understood all all students so now here that that both point we are using okay so 3000 divided by 5 how many all students 3000 divided by 5 so 30 first of all we take the both digit 30 30 will become in the table number 5 30, not a 13 30 3 0 30 okay so 3 0 30 will become in the table number 5 yes 30 will become in the table number 5 but where 5 6 table number 5 5 6 5 5 is a 25 and 5 6 30 so 30 minus 30 now we do the subtraction 30 minus 30 is, is equal to 0 and what is the next step next step we bring down this both 0 we bring down this both 0 okay so this both 0 will going uh, upside in the quotient okay so answer is what 6 100 what all students answer is what 600 understood got my point all all students now a last sum of this question okay so, question number h question number h is what 5400 what all students 5400 got my point all students i hope you all are understood 5400 divided by 9 5400 divided by 9 okay so in table number 9 54 will become yes but where 9 6 are 54 where all students 9 6 are 54 there are 9 6 are 54 will become that so 54 minus 54 is equal to 0 54 minus 54 is equal to 0 okay and then after we take the we, we take the both digit we take the both divided digit bring a bring in a down and this both digit going a up in quotient so answer is what also the same answer of question number g 600 understood i hope you i hope you all are understood betterly okay students now we move on exercise number 4a now we move on exercise number 4a question number 4 mixed practice okay in mixed practice how many types of question will become there a four digit quotient three digit quotient and a quotient with zero three types of question will become in the question number four so now let's start and let's solve here the question number four mixed practice so okay question number one Question number one, let's check here. 4475. 4475 4, 4, divided by 5. So here we take the digit 1 or 2 digit. Here we take the 2 digit. Okay, 4, 4 means 44. So students think 44 will become in the table number 5 yes or no 44 no 44 will become is not come so what to do that time we take the less than to 44 so 43 so 43 will become in the table number 5 
yes or no no 43 also not come in the table number 5 so again we take the less than to 43 42 42 will be come in the table number 5 no 42 is all is also not come in the table number 5 again we move on the less number less than to 40 to 41 okay so 41 is also not come in the table number 5 now less than to 41 so 40 40 will become on the table number 5 yes 40 will become on the table number 5 but where 5 is the 14 so we take the here the 14 5 is the 14 4 0 5 is the 14 so 44 minus 40 how many left 4 44 minus 4 here we do the subtraction of 44 minus 40 so 4 okay then after we bring down the next divided digit means we bring down the 7 here okay so we bring down the 7 here okay so students let's uh, think here in table number 5 47 will become no so which digit we are taking here less than to 47 46 will become no 46 will also not come will not come okay so less than to 46 45 45 will become on the table number 5 yes 45 will become on the table number 5 so what to do all students that time so 5 9 the okay so 5 9 the 45 understood 5 9 the 45 so 47 minus 43 how many left 2 47 minus sorry 47 minus 45 so how many left 2 okay so we put here the 2 then after what to do then after we bring down the 5 5 we bring down the which digit is made here 25 is made here so 25 will become in the table number 5 yes easily 25 will become in the table number 5 but where 5 5 is a 5 5 is a 25 25 minus 25 is equal to 0 so answer is what 895 understood quotient is what 8000 sorry 895 is our answer quotient is our answer this is our answer okay 895 now we move on the question number b what is the question number b let's check here 4221 4,221 divided by 7 4,221 divided by 7 so students in table number 7 42 will become or not yes in table number 7 42 will become but where all students 7 6 see here 7 6 40 2 so 42 minus 42 how many all students 0 42 minus 42 is equal to 0 then after what to do then after bring down a 2 next divided digit 2 so 2 is bigger is a less than to our divisor means 7 is big and 2 is a small so 2 is not come in the table number 7 so what to do that time we take the this both divided digit bring a down with together okay again i repeat all students this both divided digit we bring down together understood we bring down together this both digit so we bring down this both digit here 21 so what to do that time that time we put the zero but where in the quotient okay in the quotient we put the zero okay so students now you think 21 will become on the table number 7 yes or no yes 27 sorry 21 will become in the table number 7 so 7 3 is a 21 understood so 7 3 is a 21 so 21 minus 21 how many 0 0 understood got my point I hope you all are
understood better and i hope you all are remember and i hope you are writing all students you writing with me okay now students one more thing your today's your homework is exercise number 4 a question number 3 a to h two times write in your fair book and one time in your sorry two time in your rough book and one time in your fair book understood and now students further question question number c to h question number 4 we are going to solving a next day understood all students thank you so much all of you thank you all students